All right, here we are. <laughs> Chemistry 101 for 3D printers. Um, if you watch my video of the first test run of the printers behind me here at the print farm, our nine, over 90% of our problems were related to adhesion, uh, bed adhesion on the glass beds of these printers. And uh, what I'm wanting to do is um, come up with the best type of uh, chemical to add to that glass to provide good adhesion, not too much, not too little. So, what we used in our test print run was a little bit of this Aquanet hairspray. And um, I didn't think I put that much on. I just basically shoot, 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 shoot. However, when I went to take it off of one of the glass beds, and I think I've got a little video clip, I used hairspray on this printer for my first print and uh, that's how much buildup you got from the hairspray and just spraying one time. So that's telling me that that might be a little a little too much. So what I'm going to do is clean all this hairspray off the glass bed and we're going to try some different types of adhesion that may be a little bit better than hairspray. Yeah, that's a lot of buildup just from one spraying. This is all of the stuff that I scraped off with this little razor blade to clean the glass. Uh, that, to me, seems like an awful lot of hairspray. So I don't know if I put too much on or what. Um, I'm saving this because I'm going to take it outside and put a match to it and see if after it is applied if it's still flammable and if so how flammable is it. I know when it comes out of here it's flammable and uh, that's one thing I don't like about using hairspray um, around a bunch of printers that are operating because um, this can operate I believe if I had a match in front of it and sprayed it the aerosol would act as a blowtorch and uh, so I'm just curious if the uh, finished product is still flammable. I believe it's going to be because um, I think that was proven to be true by uh, Michael Jackson in a Pepsi commercial where his hair caught on fire from pyrotechnics uh, because of hairspray. So we'll find out about that. In the meantime, what I've done, I've taken some spray containers here. I took this one and I'm just mixing up a small batch, but I put in water and I'm using, just to keep the playing field straight, I'm using distilled water. So I don't have to worry about anything being in the water that might interact with the glue. And I'm using basically just some Elmer's glue all. And I mixed it two parts to one part. So it's two thirds water, one third glue. And I think I've got it in there now. So I'm going to um, mix this up. And then we'll be able to apply it 
as a spray and spray it on to the sheet. Now, once we get it on there, to get an even flow, I'm going to experiment around with a few things. I have some of these brushes here, and uh, I'll be... Uh, I'll use some of these brushes and see if I can evenly spread it with the brushes. I also purchased some sponges. These are just regular scrubbing, cleaning sponges. And I won't be using the scrub side, I'll be using the soft side, absorbent side, to um, evenly distribute that. Now, I also have a container here that I can put this fluid in. If it turns out that it's too messy spraying it, and that's another thing I didn't like about the hairspray, when you spray it, not only are you getting that film on the glass, but some of it can be getting on your printer and building up on it. With this, I think we could concentrate this spray Yeah, we can concentrate this spray into the uh, center of the glass. And then I believe we could take a sponge and spread it around. Now here's our glass plate that we took off the printer and scraped the residue off of. Now if I take this... Uh, mixture, put a little bit of it in here and put it on the sponge, I can probably go down and put a thin layer on the glass without making a big mess. So I'm thinking this may be the best way to, to apply it. Uh, this would give me a better swipe than that. It looks like it's coating pretty evenly, or I could just take the spray bottle, spray a little bit on the center, then come back with this and pick it up. And apply it like that. Okay, again, this is a... Uh, two-thirds water, one-third glue mixture. So I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to put it on the printer, and we're going to print on it. And then uh, we'll fool around with this uh, formula, and we'll go maybe to a 50-50. We may go to a 75-25 a or even thinner mixture but I want to see how the parts are going to adhere to uh, this concoction. And then also after that, I'm going to take my little scraper here and remove this little bit of glue that we put on here and just see how much uh, compared to the hairspray uh, there is. So this whole business for me, since I got into 3D printing, uh, as you all know, I've only been in it for uh, a little bit, well, over a year. I started in December of 2019, and every step of the way, um, I picked up some tips on the internet, watching other videos, but a lot of it has just been trial and error, like I'm doing here, and uh, fooling around with settings on the printer, and uh, printing and reprinting the same part until I get the results uh, that I'm looking for. So I'm going to share all of this with you and we'll see what works. Okay, I've put the glass back on this printer and we're preheated. One thing I mentioned uh, or I was asked about in a comment was why I preheated all of the heat uh, printers before I started printing and one of the reasons is because when I check the temperature 
of the uh, bed, you can see I've got 54 uh, degrees centigrade. And, but I'm indicating 60 degrees. That is because the bottom of this plate, if I shoot the temperature on the bottom of the plate, You can see I've got 57 degrees underneath here, where on top, okay, we're up to 56 now, we were 54 a while ago. What happens is it takes a little longer for this glass to heat up once the aluminum um, bed has reached 60 degrees and it says we're ready to start printing we really don't have the temperatures that we want on this glass yet also um, I'm going to leave it on a little bit longer now because I have that glue water mixture that we just um, batched up over there uh, a layer of that on here okay I think it's uh, been there long enough I'm going to um, go ahead and put this thing home. And I'm going to extrude a little bit of filament. Just to make sure. Okay, the filament's flowing good. I think we're ready to start printing. And, um... Okay, let's get it going. Well, looks like it's going down good. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and let it uh, print here. I'm not going to finish the print job. It takes too long. But I'm going to get several layers on there. Then uh, cool it down, see what the adhesion's like while the uh, plate's still hot, and then check it when the plate cools. That's when they should, uh, the parts should release. So I'll be back shortly. Okay, we're going to stop this print now. I think it's printed enough to uh, let us check the adhesion. So we'll go ahead and stop. The print and let me get this extruder up out of the way <clears throat> and now I'm just going to check Those things are on there good. So, I want to remove the glass. Okay, I've removed the glass. It's still pretty warm. And I checked these parts and they were really, 
on their good, their real good adhesion. So um, let me let the glass cool down. And remember, this was our two thirds water, one third Elmer's glue formula that we put on this glass bed. And it looks like a real thin layer. I don't see it. Let me do a little scrape here with it and see. Yeah, it's on there. You can see it coming off. But there's a, it's a very small amount. Okay. Now we'll see. Yeah, these parts come right off. And uh, they have a nice, smooth finish on them. Yeah, looks like the adhesion was good and everything worked fine. So we know our uh, two parts uh, water and one part glue work pretty good but we're going to still experiment around try a couple of different mixtures and see how they work and we'll take it from there um, so the method we used was to put some of this liquid in a container so we can keep it in this container and seal up the container with the sponge and just take it and go down the line and apply a thin amount of this water and glue or we can keep it in the spray bottle and spray a little bit of it on the glass and then use the sponge then to uh, evenly distribute it on the glass. And it looks like a thin layer. So I think the sponge will work. I didn't really try the brush, but I can see that it would be too much trouble. I even had a roller here that I thought, well, we might be able to roll it on, but that would be a bigger mess. But I think I'm gonna stick with this combination here. And uh, that way I can seal this up in between jobs. And, uh, don't worry about the sponge drying out. So that should wrap it up. I appreciate you watching. And if you get anything out of these videos or uh, like what we're doing here, be sure to uh, uh, give us a little like, uh, subscribe, and give us a comment. Let us know what you think. Uh, or if you have some other ideas that we can share We'll be glad to uh, hear those. So thanks for watching.